Well, hey there, Marie Green from Olive Knits here. And today I'm going to show you how to work a centered double decrease, also known as S2KPO. And this is a lovely decrease to know, especially for lace patterns, because it creates this really prominent column of decreases that sits raised above your work and it centers the decrease over three stitches, which is really nice. So you can see how that detail shines in this floral trellis cowl. And I'm gonna show you how to work this decrease. It's really quite simple, but there is one little trick that makes all the difference in the world. So in order to work the decrease, you're going to get to the spot in the pattern that says it's time to do the S2 KPO. And what you'll do is take the tip of your right needle and insert it through the first two stitches on your left needle as if to knit. Think of your, like you're doing a knit two together, except you're not actually working them. Just slide them off and then knit the next stitch and then pass those two stitches over the stitch that you just knit. And that is how you create that centered double decrease stitch that goes so beautifully into many lace patterns. All right, it's time to work the stitch again. So one more time, take the tip of your right needle, insert it through the next two stitches on your left needle. Again, think like you're knitting two together, slide them off knit the next stitch and then pass those two stitches over. And that's how you create that centered double decrease or S2KPO for your knitting. Mm -hmm. 